Hey Gary, so here is the the image that you sent me. So as you can see, it's saved where, it's saved where the rest of the photos and videos on the device are located, uh, where the native camera app puts in all the photos and videos. Anyway, so here is the, the picture you sent me. Let's save this to the files section of this device. I assume you're using iOS because in the emo, it said that you're, you have an iOS device. Okay. <laughs> So here we are in the Teleplay app. So the first thing you do when you get to the Teleplay app are two things. Well, actually, okay, let's pretend that we're starting from scratch. So this is what you'll see when you enter the Teleplay app. Just click on the pick pause button. Uh, you can just say not for now. And the next thing you wanna do is go to the gear icon, make sure that the pick pause button right here is on and make sure to enter the email address you use to purchase pick pause because that will unlock all of the paid content right here. Okay, and within the gear icon, you can just ignore all the buttons except for email and the pick pause button. <laughs> okay, so there are two ways to use pick pause. The first one is to add foreground elements on top of an existing photo or video. And the second way is to re remove, a background, remove a background from a photo, take that, Take that and then put it into any one of the backgrounds here or your own background and then add foreground elements if you want. So I'm gonna show you both ways. So the first way is let's add foreground elements on top of an existing picture. And you can, you know, you can turn this the other way if you want to keep it simple because the recording camera is vertical. I'm just gonna keep it at like, like this. So with this one, you know, I assume you kind of want to maybe keep it simple. Um, let's see what we got here. What if we had a butterfly? It's kind of like an extremely subtle effect. So I'm kind of going off the cuff because um, there wasn't, you know, there weren't clear instructions on as to what type of effect you want. So there are over 4,000 effects. Um, if you let me know exactly what you're looking for, I can help you find it. What about this one? Oh, this is like a butterfly that's very far away. Yeah, to remove an effect, just hold on it and then click the X that appears. You can have more than one foreground effect at the same time. Let's try something else. What if we do a bird? Okay, that can kind of work. What if we, oh, what if we do something like this? Fence four. Keep in mind, you can rotate the effects, resize however which way you want. Ah, it doesn't really make too much sense, but you get the idea. Hold and then click X to remove. Um, you can do a simple lens flare, like something like this. So like a scene like this is hard to find a foreground effect that'll work simply because the subject is so big that there isn't much context to add anything else to the scene, if that makes sense. <clears throat> but if you let me know the effect you're going for, I can help you find it. Uh, what if we do something like, um, like a simple plants and flowers, which may work well. What if we do like a branch? Obviously this isn't animated, but something which I think can work well. So you get the idea. So it's a, let's say you wanna, let's do a, okay, let's uh, find an animal. So I can show you how to make a recording. Oh, wait, what if we do this effect right here? So let's go to the reveal foreground category, click on safe. Okay, let's hold the record button for two seconds. And then when you're done with the recording, just tap again.
Okay, and you'll see that it's saved to your camera roll. And there it is. Let's, I mean, let's let it play. Okay, so you get the idea. <coughs> so let me show you the next, so, and to change, so let's, let me show you the next way to use pick pause is to remove a background and then place it on top of anything here or your own background. Okay, so click on your foreground, click on the AI scissor tool. The reason we save that initial image to the files section is because when you use the AI scissor tool, it only works if it's in the files section of your device. So let's find it, it's somewhere here. Oh, here it is. Let's see what it does. I know sometimes it struggles when the background isn't obvious. Give me a sec, let's see if this works. Let's just, let's, um, here, let's exit out. Let's try it again. Oh, okay, now this one works for some reason. Okay, so now, as you can see, the background is fully removed. <clears throat> and now, let's say you want to add your own background. So go to your background. And then, I don't know, do something like this. Oh, okay. Or let's say you want something different. I use a lot of mid-journey images. You can click on this and boom. So you can just download it, instantly changes the background. So, or you can use any of the backgrounds here. So every background category here has a video preview and a photo preview. So video preview has all the videos, photo preview has all the photos of that category. So let's, uh, I don't, I don't know if I have anything industrial, but let's see if we have something that works within the AI generated backgrounds category. And I know we have a lot under photo preview. So what if we do neon garage? Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking that. Okay. See what else kind of works for that chain. What if we do this one? Oh, this can kind of work. Maybe. What about neon steps? Eh, not thinking it. Oh, what if we do this? Pirate ship one. It's almost like the it's almost like the chains that are guarding the treasure. And then what if we had a foreground effect that kind of, so this, because this kind of gives more context to the scene. So like this, and then what if we add like a little bird? What if we go to animals? What if we had a crow? Well, I mean a raven, here we go. And let's say you want to add some music. So we go to the music button, click on music. Uh, so to do a music, uh, so to do music, just the play button right here, it lets you preview uh, the music. So for example, let's say you like that. So to use it in an actual recording, click on download and then double tap so that the bar is full and then go to here Make sure that only the effect sound is on, and then click on the record button. <laughs> and you may notice that um, some the video when you use video backgrounds in the app, the app may crash. Um, that is fixed in the very latest version, which is coming within a couple of days to the app store. Oh, 
Oh, here, let me turn on the volume. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm liking this. What, let's see what else we can do. So what if we change up the background again? So one of my favorite background... Oh, what if we do... My favorite background categories in the app so far are nature backgrounds, AI-generated backgrounds, and AI surfaces. I think there's a lot of gold in there. Let's see what other kind of... Oh, what if we do Hobbit Hole? No. Nah. Oh, Haunted Chair. Oh, <laughs> okay. So something... So this kind of... Because it's a like kind of rusty... Maybe it can be like part of a haunted place. So. So you can also search for like haunted here instead of browsing through it. I just kind of like browsing through it because I think browsing through different uh, photos and video back through different photo and video backgrounds, it kind of leads to like a, a serendipity type effect where like some of the best scenes I've created were unplanned. Okay, so then okay, this is kind of like a haunted scene. And then what if we add some some kind of haunted thing? So, and then we have a haunted type foreground category. So spooky. Let's do this ghost. So we have a ghost. <laughs> uh, I think this looks pretty cool. I mean, obviously the chain is a little bit out of context. I'd like a more industrial type scene. Um, okay, that's it for now.